Today, Kevin and I are going to be trying three completely random things. They're that, crunchy. They're new to us. Okay, they're crunchy. He did it. Uh, they're new to us. Uh, this is the Tostitos Hint of Spicy Queso. These are the Dots Homestyle Pretzels in the Honey Mustard Seasoned Pretzel Twist. They're new. And these are the Goldfish Jalapeno Popper. So we're gonna give you prices for all these first. The Tostitos were $3.50 at Target. The Dots were $5.49 at Meyer. And the um, um, Goldfish were $2.19 at Kroger. There you go. Three, three uh, different, uh, three different places. Yeah. Definitely Target, Meyer, right. and Kroger. Uh, actually, we saw these at Kroger too. Yes. Yes. It's like when one place got them in our area, everybody got them. So, the Tostitos. And we're trying them without dip because we want to taste them just as Oh, well. yeah. Um, Tostitos on taking hints. If the hint is jalapeno lime or spicy queso, you take it. Um, 11 servings in the container. 19 chips, 28 grams is 150 calories. These are made by Frito-Lay. Watch out, nachos. There's a new base in town. Okay. That has, it's not as strong, but it has an underlying Doritos type flavor. A little bit of that same seasoning. Mm -hmm. It's spicy. I mean, it's hot. My, my back of my throat is tingly. Yeah. Where I'm getting it is um, the sides of my tongue. Yeah. On I think the it side, depends on how you In the eat. back. Yeah. If you spread out while you're eating or not. Right. I, I like that quite a bit. Mm -hmm. I think that is delicious. And you could eat those by themselves, uh, or um, I think they would be really good with just the red sauce. I like the red, mm -hmm. the chunky, is it called a restaurant red salsa? Yeah. yeah, and uh, I think it would be good with that too because you get the chunky onion and you get the chunky tomato pieces and it, it's just really good. And that, that adds, I mean, you can eat these by themselves. You though. absolutely um, can eat them by themselves. Because they do, they remind me of Doritos. A little not quite as strong, but they remind me of Doritos. They get that same cheesy kind cheese. of cheese, yes, um, cheese, cheesy kind of spice, and then uh, and then you get that tingle in the back of your throat. Those are nice to just eat. And speaking of cheese, even though they do taste like cheese and they're they're spicy, uh, it would be good just to add more cheese. You can like dip them into sauce. more. Yes, yeah. they make that um, that Mexican Velveeta. And oh, it's good. That would be awesome with yeah. these. Yes. I like the Tostitos, just the. The queso dip, for that matter. But, but by themselves, they're terrific. Yep. I would buy those again. Yeah, they're very, very good. Okay. Dots Homestyle Pretzels. Uh, honey Mustard Seasoned Honey Wheat Pretzel. Um, they're in North Dakota. Slightly sweet, a little salty, a subtle tang. Uh, one ounce, 28 grams, 130 calories. There are 16 servings in the bag. And we've tried the other Dots Pretzels as well. Yes. Uh, and they're... We, we like them all. <laughs> well, you know that the, I like the flavor of the the cheese curls. They're they're new ones. Yeah, the cheese curls are okay. But I I the I didn't care for the texture. I didn't care for the texture, but I really really like the flavor quite a bit. Those are good. I like the um. Snyder's of Hanover. The Snyder's has a sourdough, like a really crunchy one. Mm -hmm. um, these have a little sweetness to them mm -hmm. that those don't, mm -hmm. which is, it's good, but it's diff it's definitely different. So if you like those, you should try these out because it is a little bit different, uh, subtly different flavor. The texture of these, I, I actually like more than the Snyder's of Hanover because- The Snyder's are a little hard. Yes. If you've ever had those, they're they're in like different shape pieces. Yeah, it's like they broke up the big sourdough. And uncles. it's like eating little rocks. It's like eating pieces of rock because they're, See, like they're hard. These are not hard like that. These are so, they're they're a good crispy pretzel, but they're not hard. Right. And so this to me, this texture is a lot more pleasing. Yeah, I I like the I I, I know could, you I like, like the texture of the other one, but I do really. For me, it's it's similar flavors, but this one's different though. So if you'd like those, try this one out. Cause I'm, I would encourage you to try this because it does have a little sweetness to it. I think the uh, flavor of the Snyder's of Hanover 
I think they have the better flavor because it's stronger. Yeah, it's more of a mustard and onion kind of Yes, thing. so for me, as far as flavor goes, Snyder's wins. I would buy that. Because it's stronger. Yes, for texture, I like these. Yeah, for me, it's just a... It, so are you gonna go for flavor or texture? Yeah. That's, that's up to you. Yeah, that's on, and if you want, <laughs> can't help you there. If you want that little sweetness in there, then try these out. I think, I think. Yeah, because they they definitely are sweeter. Yeah, I think it's that honey wheat uh, pretzel they have. Okay, these are the uh, Goldfish Limited Edition Jalapeno Popper. These were in a weird place in Kroger. I just have to say. Yeah. I think it was a weird place. Well, they do have other like crackers and chips and stuff over there. So it was near the bread. It was near the bread and the and snack the cakes. Yeah. The snack cakes. And it's like. It was odd. Are people looking for goldfish over here? Because if I'm looking, specifically looking for goldfish, I'm not going to look over here. I'm going to look where the goldfish are. In the cracker aisle, yeah. Okay. Just next. I agree. It wasn't an odd place. But whatever. Maybe that's just where they have more room for display. It could be. And it was. it's kind of when you first go in the door and then you kind of walk through the produce area and you, you could see them. So. But if I hadn't. If I wasn't picking up bread, I would have missed these. Yeah, you wouldn't have walked over there. You wouldn't have walked over there at all unless you were going to get bread or something like that. So that's what I'm saying. I would rather have them with the goldfish because those people are looking for those. Okay, besides that, popping with flavor and a hint of heat. Uh, six servings in the container, 55 pieces. So you get a lot of Yeah, you get a lot. The cups are small. 140 calories. These are made in Connecticut, pepperagefarm.com. Okay. You know, goldfish looks like a goldfish like this, but if you put it like this, it looks like an atomic bomb. Oh. <laughs> He's smiling at me. He's smiling at me. <laughs> smiles. Um, those are good. You definitely get a little hint of heat, um, a little tingle in the back of your throat. Oh, I like those quite a bit. They. Um, they have about the same level of heat as the Tostitos did, similar. The Tostitos might have been slightly hotter, but it's very close. It has a uh, green jalapeno-like flavor though, doesn't it? Now see, to me, heat hits Kevin and I in different ways. Um, I think these are hotter. Yeah, see, I, I, I think they're about equal, really. I, I don't, I, I truly think, and I mean, I love jalapeno, I love the heat of jalapeno. Jalapeno normally does not bother me. Um, these are excellent. Uh, they're delicious. You really get a strong cheese flavor. Mm -hmm. I you love it that the, 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 you can still taste that cheese. That typical so goldfish cheese. Yes, it's still that cheddar cheese flavor, but then you're getting uh, also the heat uh, spiciness from the jalapeno. They did a really they good job. They did a good job. Yeah. I don't know if they taste like a jalapeno popper because I always think of a a little bit of a fried flavor with those, and they didn't get that, but they did get the cheese and jalapeno flavor. Yes, I think the name, yes, the name could have been different. Um, they, it could have been Could have been jalapeno cheddar or something. Cheese, or cheesy jalapeno. Yeah. Cheesy jalapeno would have been perfect, because Kevin's right, a jalapeno popper has that breading on the outside, yeah. and it's like deep fried and just yum. Um, this does not have anything deep fried about it, but, um, I don't know that, you know, for, I think what they're doing is these are more for adults because mm -hmm. goldfish have been playing to kids. I mean, it's like, that's the kid's treat for years. A lot of people buy this for their kids. I think the, this is a way to bring the adults into Yeah, because I can't imagine kids, right? unless kids like the hot stuff, some kids like hot food, um, they would enjoy that. But if they don't like hot food, then... I think this is mom and dad's goldfish is yeah. what this is. Like I said, though, there's plenty of kids out there that like spicy food, so... But I'll be honest, I've never been one to buy goldfish. Mm -hmm. For me, I would buy these for me because I think they're that good. Yeah, they are good. And they're you right. get 55 of them. I like them. I would rather have the Tostitos myself, but... For your for a snack. Yeah, but, but I do like the goldfish. Don't the biggest wrong. difference I think in the, the two, well, besides they're completely different, I think the Tostitos have a lot of that salt that you might be craving. Yeah. And so it the satisfies chip kind of Yes, salt. it has the crunch of a chip. It satisfies that that need for the salt that you have. Um but I think I think all three of these I think are all good. of them are good. The, even yes. the, the honey mushroom's good. It's just the honey wheat pretzel makes them a little sweet for me right and the sweetness 
It's not bad, but it, it's not as good as like the Snyder's ones. Mm -hmm. But I would buy, I would recommend any of these yeah. to you. Oh yeah, any of them are good. Yes. So I hope you enjoyed the video and thanks for watching.